Hi guys, so um, this is Kina with Flossy Design. I just wanted to do a quick video on um, filling, refilling your cartridges from your sublimation printer. This one is an Epson 7710, so, and I don't use this printer for sublimation. Sublimation is a um, type of um, ink that goes into fabric on clothing. It's a different, it's a method of doing it and it can only be done on 100%, I say 90 to 100% polyester um, shirts. It can be done on sublimation tumblers. It can be done on anything that has a polyester coating on it pretty much. Um, this is Printer Jack's um, ink. I just bought some ink when I first bought this printer and this is the ink that I bought and it's been working really good for me. I do have Cosmos ink, which I'm going to use after I'm done with all this because I had a lot of this ink left. So I'm going to um, use Cosmos after I'm done with all of these bottles. So my first step is always having gloves on when you do this because you can already see this yellow is getting on my hand. I always have baby wipes, two baby wipes because I'd like to wipe off my needles. I have my needles, these needles. I don't even leave the tops on them. I just leave these, um, leave the needle points on them. They all have the color that is used, um, pretty much stuck in the little part up here. So I know which one goes with which, which ink. So this is my yellow, this is my blue, the other one is my black. And I have one, I have a red. And I also have other needles, but these short needles didn't work as good as these longer needles do, do to get down into this bottle, okay? The first step is to open your top of your printer where your printer cartridges are located. Once you open that, it's going to say close the scanner unit, right? So that's not the first step. <laughs> so you're going to go to your maintenance, your settings, and you're going to go to maintenance, and then you're going to go to ink cartridge replacements. And then it's going to say replace the ink cartridges. You're gonna push start. All mine look pretty full, but what I do is I don't even go off of this anymore. I know I print a lot of stuff. So once I feel like I've printed a lot and I have time in a day, I try to take once a week to just check my cartridges and refill every single one of them. Once this comes up on the screen, you lift the scanner. It's gonna go through a process. It's gonna bring the cartridges out, zoom them over, zoom them back. They're doing, I guess, just reading them or something like that. And then when it comes back over, you'll be able to lift the little uh, tab that's on top of the cartridges to get them out. So I lift the tab. I don't know if you can see that. So, this little tab right here, I just lift it. And then I pull each cartridge out. The same way you put them in, you pull them out, okay? Put that back. I set each one of my cartridges down on my paper towel. Oh, that's also something else you should have. Paper towel on your floor so you're not making a mess. I have tons of ink spots all over my floor from when I wasn't using paper towels. So I use that to keep my ink from being all over my floor. And then I actually have an extra one here. So I just put my cartridges down on the floor. Put them down on, or down on my paper towel, not on the floor, actually. Put them on the paper towel, have them sit up, and I take every single one of them out. I don't care which one, if the thing said it need the, needed ink done, I take them all out because I want to check them all because I'm doing a replenish, to, to replenish, replenish all of them. So this is my yellow. It's pretty full still, okay? So I won't even put any more in there. This is my red. It's pretty full still, too. My blue is low. You probably can't even really tell, but it is low. So I can feel how that there's not much in it. And then here's my black. Um, it looks full. <laughs> it looks full, but I know by the way it feels that it's not full. And that's why, again, I don't go by these on here. Like right now, I see my yellow and my magenta are um, lower than my, I think it's cyan and my black. And my cyan and my black are the main ones that are low. So that's why I don't go off of what this says on, on the screen. So you take your little tab off. 
and your tab when you first put these in your tab will be located here some of them some people put they have the tab here and then the instructions say to take it out or whatever and people don't always remember to put this tab up here because you have to plug this hole so you don't have ink going everywhere okay so if the tab is here it needs to be here <laughs> so you just take that out and that's where you feel in that hole that's where you're filling your ink put that down i'm also taking the one out on my and see that one's a double cartridge this one's a, a single cartridge so it's the tab is up there in that front hole and the back hole is empty as you can see okay all right i'm gonna take both those tabs out and i set my cartridges up like this on the ground so take my ink shake it around just a little bit you don't have to do that sometimes i just do it get my needle i put it inside of my ink and then i just pull pull the syringe up and then you'll see that it's starting to fill it up with ink okay and i recommend doing this after you print so many prints and you feel like you want to do some more is sometimes you will run out of ink in the middle of a print or you will run low or something happens with the printer just waste a little bit of ink and then spit your paper out and stop any printing sometimes the error messages come up so try to make sure when you know that you've been I'm putting, I'm putting it in this hole back hole and i'm just pressing down and i'm gonna put the stuff in there until i start seeing like the top of it looks like it's filled that's kind of hard for me I'm just push it in there See, that wasn't even enough. I didn't even have enough in there to finish this one. This one, oh, I guess I can look at it now. Now, oh, you guys probably can't see that, but it, this line kind of right there showing. Let me go up close. Oh, uh, you probably can't see it, but the line there, I can see it here, and that it's ink all the way up there right now, okay? So that was actually enough. And then you make sure you plug your hole back up. Your wipes are key to this part. I try to wipe off. Just wipe it off lightly. It doesn't have to be scrubbed or anything like that. But just to get any excess stuff that's on there, I try to take it off. All that little extra stuff is everywhere. And then you put it back in the front. Back in where it goes. Blue goes with blue. Red over red, yellow over yellow. So I know that's full. So I know I can print probably another, I don't know, 25, 30 things on this printer here. Um, just because of, of me replenishing my, my ink every week, I try to make sure it's not out. So I don't have those issues where the thing spits out and says that the ink cartridge can't be recognized. Now that you really, I don't think you can stop that, but it helps to have ink in there and all and if you're constantly printing constantly printing it's going to read that the ink is in there but the levels aren't always right like i said i'm gonna go ahead and put my magenta back in there and my yellow there's quite a few steps that you got to go through when you're converting this printer over to this epson 7710 and then they have the epson 7720 and i believe they have other ones that they say you can convert i don't know i don't know myself so all i can speak for is the 7710 and 7720 and um this printer there's videos on youtube all over that show how to convert this printer some of them aren't um as detailed as others but i found a really good one that walked me through the process and the guy uh, he printed after he converted the printer he printed a i think he did a print hair cleaning or something like that maybe 10 times i realized when i did it you know 10 times my paper was already going back to normal um around the eighth time doing it so i only did i think it was maybe um, maybe nine print head cleanings but I didn't have to do as many as people were doing and doing all that 
printing the paper and checking the lines stuff like that my converter pretty easy and it, and and i also put in my um i put in the cartridges that came with this so i had it a little bit harder i guess people would say because i had to get that ink out to get this ink put in but i still feel like the process was really quick for me like i ran it through ran it through ran it through and then the lines started coming back the lines on the uh it's a print page sheet like a test test sheet to show the line the ink the ink level or the ink print so it'll show it with solid lines first and then once you change the ink out and you put the new ink in it's going to start breaking up and then it's almost going to disappear or just about disappear off the page where you won't see it anymore that's when you know the submission ink is starting to go into there and the other ink is out and then you'll do a couple more of those print head cleanings print head cleanings and then you start getting some vague dotted lines. And then once it starts being solid lines, it's like a, a line in a box for each one. So it's a, a, a box and then like 10, maybe 15 lines in it. Once you start seeing those lines appear for all the colors, then you're ready to go. That is That should be the end of your process. When you start printing stuff, you should be printing in sublimation ink only. Once you convert this printer, I've heard you can convert it back if you wanted to. I don't suggest converting it back. You have to bleed those lines again and do this do this process all over again. I don't know how long it takes. I don't know none of that. Um, but I don't recommend converting it back to the normal print settings once you convert it to this one. So, I got my black done. I'm going to close out the lid, and then that's when you close it up, and you let it do its thing. And it'll come out, and it'll say that you put ink, you place the ink, and it's good. It found it. You'll push OK. Now, on your computer, sometimes when you're about to print something new after you do this, or after you check the ink cartridge, it says replacement is complete. Push OK. But when you on the computer, when you're about to print, you will see something that might come up to say, this is not genuine. If you're not using... Well, I guess it is. It is not genuine. It says this is not genuine Epson ink. Purchase online or continue. Something like that. And then you continue or whatever because you want to use the ink. And then they say use this ink. Yes, you're going to want to use this ink because you're doing sublimation printing. Sublimation is the truth. <laughs> it is a really good process. Once you learn it and you get into it, it is great. Especially doing them on tumblers. Let me show you a couple things. This is a tumbler my tumbler i did and sublimation ink i had something underneath the thing so on my face i got a line across it because i had something underneath the paper i didn't realize was there but this is sublimation on a tumbler um what else do i have let me see i'm gonna have a shirt around here that might be sublimated on let me This is a, a t-shirt that is sublimated on. This ink is in this fabric. It is not coming out of this fabric. You can wash this thing probably 50 times before you start seeing a fade. Um, we've washed so many of our own shirts that we've done for ourselves, and it still looks brand new. I mean, it looks gorgeous. The ink is good, especially if you have a good ink. The Cosmos ink I'm hearing is way better, way better than the Printer Jack, which I'm pretty sure it might be. I don't know yet. I haven't tried it. But when I start trying it, I'm, I'm going to. And I'm going to try out some new sublimation uh, papers as well. But right now, I use Asa paper. Um, I hope you like this video. I'm just showing you the process of changing out your ink. Um, if you don't have an error message or anything like that, we're showing you the steps of how to get into your ink cartridges and change them. Thank you for um, coming to watch my video. And I hope you guys come back for more.